Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed participants and honored guests, my name is Amandeep Gill and I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Technology. It is a tremendous honor to address you today as we collectively mark the momentous occasion of the inaugural hackathon, Cloud Native Hacks, that ran alongside KubeCon. The challenges we presented today not only underscore the importance of open source and digital public goods, but also the role of technology in creating meaningful societal impact on a global scale. By harnessing the power of technology, we aim to address pressing issues aligned with the UN SDGs, fostering a collective commitment to end poverty and hunger, protect the planet, and ensure prosperity and dignity for all. As we embark on this journey, it's crucial to recognize that these challenges extend beyond coding tasks. They represent opportunities to pioneer innovative solutions and leapfrog existing challenges. Tackling issues such as gender inequality, online harm and derogatory language, and digital threats to democracy speaks directly to the core principles of the SDGs. The potential impact of these solutions goes beyond technological advancement. These solutions are key to creating positive change and momentum on the global agenda of sustainable development. As we conclude, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to CNCF for organizing this hackathon, as well as to the participants for their enthusiastic engagement and commitment to collaborating with the United Nations. Thank you. Bonjour. My name is Arun Gupta. I lead the open ecosystem team at Intel. I'm also the governing board chairperson for the Cloud Native Computing Foundation. Hi everyone, bonjour Paris. Uh, my name is Omar Mohsin and I'm with the, uh, I'm the open source coordinator at the UN Office of the Secretary General Envoy for Technology. No poverty, zero hunger, minimal crime. These are some bold, audacious goals that are not just defined by the UN, but are really required for the global sustainability. And that's exactly what we were trying to solve as part of this Cloud Native Hacks Challenge. Yeah, the Sustainable Development Goals were created back in 2015, and they were really answering some of the biggest problems that we face as, as a humanity. And we're very happy that we had some colleagues of you today work us on solving them. Yeah, these global challenges really required your support. This is where we brought the developers together to hack these solutions and make the world a better place. So yeah, these, what are these? These are really about zero hunger, uh, no poverty, gender equality, climate, and you might be wondering why are we talking to you about sustainable development goals, is that when these were designed, it wasn't for governments to work on them or for the UN to work on them. They were designed with the, the first sentence says that this is for everybody to work on them. And we, decide, and we have realized at the UN that this cannot be done without technology. Technology is the main mean where we are going to fix the, 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 the clean water, affordable energy industry, the, all of these have a very strong component. And within technology, we're making a call to you, to the open source community, because these cannot be done without you. Yeah, these goals were adopted by 193 countries in 2015 by the United Nations. So it really requires collaboration by all 193 countries. So at the hackathon, we had a partnership with the six UN collaborators. We had participants from eight different countries, 22 participants overall. We did about 20 plus hours of hacking. And out of the 17 SDGs, 10 SDGs were covered as part of the hacking challenge. Now, we had a very difficult time, lots of exciting challenges, lots of exciting discussions that happened over there. So we wish we could pick everybody as a winner. But it was a very tough call. Yeah, the jury had, was really, it was really tough to, to, to select. And really, I want to 
If you could please give a big round of applause to everyone, to all the participants. We wish we could give prizes to every one of them, but we had to pick. So the jury, it was really tough to be a jury, but we managed, we have our three winners. So let's start with that. We have our third place winner as Team Potato. Team Potato worked on a very interesting challenge called Walking Safety Map. Here, the challenge was, I'm sure you all, we live with, with Google Maps or OpenStreetMaps, but we all, when we want to go from one point to another, we go the fastest route. But a lot of people cannot go the fastest route if they don't know that it's a safe route. So they managed to build a beautiful solutions that allow a system based on publicly available data, such as if it's illuminated streets, how many, if there are police stations, how many recorded crime happen that will give you the choice. This is the fastest route or this is the safest route. And thank you. They could do that in two days. All right, let's get on with our second place winners. Second place winners are Team Forrester. Bring them on. I'm a trail runner. I've been running trails for a very long time. So I really care about the forests and the trails and everything around it. They built an application which helps you spread awareness and handles automatic detection and monitoring of deforestation. They showed a Google map by which you can create an area which you can then monitor and identify what are the green, yellow, and red spots, which you can then start monitoring and potentially alert fire safety authorities if a fire safety hazard is coming up. Living in California, seeing all those um, forest deforestation and fires happening, something very close and personal to my heart as well. Let's get on with our final team as well as the winner. And before we get on to them, one of the in lessons that we learned here is this was two one-person team that became a one two-person team. Let's talk about urban unity. Yeah, here's the winner. So Carolina and Ali, they became a one-person team here and they uh, worked on a very interesting challenge. So their solution, again, in two days, could build this fantastic application where everybody can say, I need a playground here, I need a, 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 a park here, or the city planners could also, and then everybody will have the opportunity to interact with the city. They can have automatically everybody living in a neighborhood or a city have opportunities to come in. And then the city planners have an easy way to go through a historic document and come up with a, a summary of why, like help them take decisions why this should or should not be there. Thank you again for our winners. One more thing I wanted to, to talk about is that we are really very grateful for them. All of these teams traveled all the way from far away. And Team Potato traveled from as far as Korea. The second team came from Romania and the third team from Switzerland and the UK. Yeah, and this is, not, this is only the launch line for us. There is Salt Lake City. There are other KubeCons coming up. So make sure you, when you go back, you know, you tell your people that 
This cloud native hacks is coming back next year in relationship with, in partnership with the UN. We want to see more submissions. Again, as I said, this global challenges really required global collaboration. So looking forward to working with you all. Thank you. Thank you.